you know, many of us are experiencing weather in the 80s now, but we tend to forget there are still parts of the country that is reaching over 100 degrees. So this came out on 5 CBS News. Watch Dangerous Heat Wave Continues. So this is August 11th, 2019. This heat wave, ladies and gentlemen, is in parts of Oklahoma, Arkansas, and they are triple digits as far as their heat index. So it's excessive heat warnings in effect today and actually for the next few days for them. The heat index values can reach 110 to 115 degrees. This includes parts of River Valley, eastern Oklahoma. Everyone else is under a heat advisory where it feels like temperatures will be 105 to 110 degrees. And this is the whole area as of Sunday with very humid air, heat indexes in northwest Arkansas will hover around the century mark tomorrow. So 100 degrees for them. And you can see their temperature for Arkansas northwest. Wow. So that's their actual temperature. Very dangerous heat is in the forecast for River Valley until Tuesday. And look at those temperatures for their heat index. Woo! Wow. All right, so they're saying a relief is on the way. Abnormal humid air will be stagnant on Sunday. The dew points begin to drop for Monday and Tuesday with much drier air for Wednesday. So good, I'm glad they're getting relief. But I tell you what, one thing I do know, every time they tell us the day the heat wave is gonna end, it never ends on that day. It always ends maybe like a day or two later. They, they are never right on that. I'm telling you, I know in my area, they are never right, never. Due to weather pattern, a stray shower is possible from the Northwest today. The chance of 10 to 20% across the area throughout the day. However, any rain likely won't cool you down. It sure won't. I tell you what, when we were going through the heat wave and we had that bad thunderstorm that took out the power, um, it just made the situation more humid. So we had more hot weather. And on top of that, the humidity was practically matching the temperature. It got that bad. So it's just telling people, stay hydrated, apply sunscreen. No, I ain't doing that. And check on others in the heat. Yeah, that that's really important, especially children and elderly. Um, and every time you have situations like this, ladies and gentlemen, there's always deaths um, in the area. I know it is around me, unfortunately, a lot of elderly people. Yeah, yeah. Even if, yeah. as you step outside this morning, you would think they would have air. They don't, y'all. They don't have air. There are a lot of people that are living. You know, we talk about Europe, but there are many people here in this country that don't have air. They rely on fans and, you know, past a certain temperature, those fans are totally ineffective. They really are. But if I have any subscribers that are in that area, please keep yourself cool, you know, try to drink as much water as possible and keep yourself hydrated. Man, I feel for people that have to work outside jobs. <laughs> you know, I really think they need to do a better job in letting these people kind of, you know, take a break Whenever the weather is this treacherous and it's so hot out there, I just think it's too much of a health risk of somebody even dying in these kind of heats and trying to work is just too much. But please tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen.
please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.